Hello, welcome back. Today, we're looking at something I'm very excited for. We're going to be taking a little trip down memory lane and watching some, some classic UK ads. I am trembling with excitement to be watching these. What's that? Come in over the hill. Is it a hex bug? Is that hex? Oh my god. I never own these. For most of the adverts we're going to watch, I never own these things. But hex bugs were like a dream. The the technology they possessed was something like... It was, it was space age technology, this. Look at those. That's like some fucking SpaceX shit. How do they work? I don't know. And then you be able to build a little town for them. You can build a little motorway. Those kids, those kids in that advert are living my dream. Getting to play with hex. Do they still sell them? I might have to buy some. I think they still sell them. Are you taking the piss? Supreme hex bugs. They've ruined hex bugs. You get a scorpion hex bug. Well, what does that do? I might have to just, just buy a load of hex bugs. See what they all do. I'm gonna go on their website. They still sell them. How much do you think it would cost to buy the hex bug company? I would like to purchase the hex bug company. I will turn it into a great empire. Blimey, look at all those hex bugs. Look at all those hex bugs. There's so many. Ah. Oh. I want to crush her. I want to crush her. I don't even know it. I, I, I remember this ad so vividly, and I think Will explained this to me on an episode of the E-Boys podcast, but I have no idea what the fuck a crusher is. Apparently, it's like a milkshake, but does that look like a milkshake to you? That looks like a fruit shoe. Oh, look at that little cat with a fucking tuba. Look at him. I have to see him coming again. Look at him. Oh, I love this. Marketing executives should have to study the Crusher ad as the benchmark of how to advertise. Just get like PNGs of cats playing instruments and have a catchy song. That's it. That's all you need. Okay, that looks absolutely horrible. Sorry, the amount of... Ugh, that looks rank. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Froobs were good. Do they still sell froobs? Are froobs still a thing? I hope they are. I might buy some froobs. Yeah, they are. Great. Oh, froobs are delicious. They were quite annoying because you can never, like, tear off the whole head. That was false advertising because you got a little thing that you pulled off. And then you'd have, like, a tiny little hole that you'd have to suck out of. Or maybe I was just doing it wrong. But I don't think I was because I, I, I never saw anyone do a clean rip off. Do you know what I mean? Make a mix it up and shake, shake and shake and make it. Look what you can make. Right. Okay, so what did you? Because I don't remember. I want to remember it's a song for this. So you got like a mold. You put it in your shaker maker. You put like sand and whatever in, and you shook it, and it made a thing. Is that how it worked? That's not very descriptive. So what? Do you just do you get like several molds, or do you only get like two molds? Because that's fucking boring. While we're on the topic of ads, here's one I made myself for today's sponsor, Chorus. Chorus is a space combat shooter inspired by arcade shooters of the past. The story is super interesting. The map is massive, and the graphics are beautiful. And I could go on and on about that, but the main question you want to know before buying a game is it fun and after playing chorus for a bit i can confirm yes chorus is very very fun but simply if you like games where you can customize your ship with cool weapons and stuff fly around do a few tricks and shoot bad guys in very very satisfying battles then this is a game you will enjoy and it can get very challenging so there's definitely a level of skill with this game that prevents it from getting boring quickly it's not like one of them games where it's just like oh like oh you fly around and shoot stuff and and they they don't really pose much of a challenge no this game's pretty challenging it's available on playstation xbox and windows so go get it. There'll also be a link in the description where you can buy it. And once again, thank you to Chorus for sponsoring this video. What the fuck is this? This is fucking horrifying. What is this for? What the fuck is this? That was for Reebok. That was for fuck it. No wonder, like, no one wears Reeboks anymore. Jesus Christ. As soon as a chip appears, we can come to you and usually repair the windscreen without replacing it. We inject our special resin, and in just 30 minutes, the result is almost... It seems like... I mean, how many people regularly chip their windscreen? The whole... Because Autoglass had a massive ad campaign. Like, you, you, every single ad break, it seems, there was an Autoglass advert. How much money are these guys making? How many people are cracking their windscreens? Like, just like... It's very specific, isn't it? It's like the tiny little bit. They must have been caking it in to be able to afford all these ads. Call us now. Autoglass oh, repair. Autoglass replace. Da! 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 Classic. I would steal a car though. I would. I would. I do that regularly. 
I don't know how this was supposed to put people off piracy. It, I mean, it's not the same as committing, like, potentially violent crime, like stealing handbags and cars, is it? Oh, this is a classic one. That's a classic. I couldn't eat Snickers because I'm allergic to peanuts, but that, that made me want to eat Snickers. I think I remember this one. I think this is like a repressed... Oh, milk! It's the milk advert! Yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> the milk that's good that's a good milk advert talk for up to 60 minutes pay for just three with vodafone that's so strange Do you remember when like you had to pay for credit on your i barely even remember it that's such a weird concept that you have to like pay per text and per call it seems just wholly impractical <laughs> What is this and why is it only coming through my right ear? I don't like this. It's, it's only coming through my right ear. Look. Oh, do you remember Orange? They were a good one. They were a good provider. They gave you the, the Orange Wednesdays. Those were sick. I never, I was never on Orange. I have friends that were on Orange and we go to the cinema on Wednesdays and do Orange. Oh, brilliant. They need to bring that back. I don't know. I think EE -E acquired them or something. They need to bring bring back EE uh, -E Wednesdays or, or, or something like that. Maybe they do it. I don't know. If they don't already do it, I hope they bring it back. Back to school with Geox, the shoot oh, great. I wanted those head. so bad. I wanted some. I wanted Geoxes so bad. Like, do you remember the, those leather shoes? You just get all sweaty in the summer. It'd be fucking horrible. I just wanted shoes that would like breathe because the leather ones. They there was no air getting in them. They were they were ovens. Only shreddies, limited by nanos. Shreddies, shreddies are underrated in my opinion. Ooh, the secret recipe. Four Might be a bit morbid, but I'm just thinking here. I wonder how many of these 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 nanas are dead now. I'd say like 50%. Then this advert was what? Like when, when when was this one? 2007. So that was what 14 years ago. Yeah, I'd say half of them in the mud. That's not a good way of putting it. I'm so sorry. Half of them are um are rest are resting above. I wonder if anyone actually believed that advert that all the shreddies were were knitted. Because that's that's just a wholly impractical way of making a breakfast cereal. Because a box of shreddies is what like two quid. It's like it's like you know the the bees thing where it's like it takes bees uh, six months to make a jar of honey or something. It's like that. It takes it takes Nan six months to make a box of shreddies that sells for two quid. Wholly impractical. They must be on like two p a day. Haha, <laughs> did you get his guy? His guy! You got his hand on his leg, his guy! <laughs> you get it? Oh, brilliant. Gay lords. Quick twist of the top and well, out comes your own These were so coin. crap. Like, when you think about it, the, the things like the golden koi maker was such crap. Because, like, surely you only got a certain amount of, like, gold foil. So you could only really do it, like, a few times. It's just, like, wholly pointless. Oh, the rubber duck advert. Oh, classic. What's the big to duck? bring surprises to customers on pay and go from O2. Oh, there's no big duck in this one. Free text. An iPod. Oh, there's no, there's no big duck in that advert. That's disappointing. Tony Wait, what is this? Now on Engage. What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> what is that? I have never heard of that in my life. What is it? What, what the fuck is an Engage? Like a bootleg Game Boy or something. Uh, it was a flop. Surprise, surprise. Oh my god, that does look like a piece of shit. Look at that. Oh my god, what is up with that? Sorry, who thought that was a good idea? Wait, it's like a mobile phone. <coughs> Sorry, what? No way. <coughs> oh my god, that looks awful. It looks like Minecraft. It actually looks like fucking Minecraft. But I guess, like, back then, having to be able to play Call of Duty, like, from your pocket was, was like, a sick thing. Even though it's... Uh, even, no, it was a flop, actually. No one liked this. What's going on? I mean, about your missold PPI. Shut up, fucking PPI adverts. Didn't a lot of them just turn out to be, like, outright scams? Or am I, am I just mistaken? I wonder if they're still going. Are people still trying to do the, the missold PPI thing? Ah, uh, the Dormio adverts. Oh, I miss these. Hey, papa. I gotta cook these sauce and the pasta faster than you're gonna make an espresso coffee. Huh? These were great adverts. Alright, this is how you sell pasta sauce. Get Italian puppets. <laughs> <laughs> Dolmio Express. 
When is it your Dolmillo day? Incredible, honestly, in insanely good marketing. Dolmillo weren't even realistically that good. It was, I mean, it was all right. It was just like pasta sauce. But the the Italian family puppets really sold it. Name cheapest provider for three years running. Oh, brilliant. So for cheaper car insurance. It's the 0800 double 1066. Are they even still a thing? Oh, what a phone number that is. So iconic. Like this, like before the internet, having a catchy phone number was like the key. It was the key to getting customers. Like um, 118, 118. That was, that, I, I don't even know what they did. Hot Wheels. Cross, crash. There was one, I was so, I was looking for this Hot Wheels track for so long a few weeks back. And I don't know if I'm just like, I've gaslit myself into thinking this was a thing. But it was a track, you did a loop, and then you went round, and there was like a dog that would come out and like bite your car. If anyone can find me the name of that track, I will, I will love you forever. Cross, crash. You know what, as a 23-year-old man, I might build a Hot Wheels track. Those uh, seem... But actually, yeah, speaking of, I, I, want, I was speaking about building a tech deck skate park. So I've got, I've got tech deck. Watch this skill, watch this skill. Hang on, I could, I'll do a big jump. I'll do a big jump, you'll see it. Did you see that? That was sick. I didn't land it, but it was the, the effort was... The thought was there nonetheless. The winner is the one who doesn't get smashed. The winner is the one who doesn't get smashed. Oh, catchy. Hi, guys. Woolworths. What a store that was. So, ready for the party? Sure are. Uh, hang on. You're naked. <gasps> why was Jackie Chan in a Woolworths advert? This is why they went bankrupt, because they had to pay for Jackie Chan to appear in an advert. They should have been better with their money. You see, this isn't the one that made us actually cross the road, like, properly. It was the one of, like, the really haunting cartoon of, like, the girl that fucking died or something. But traffic couldn't see her see. That made me look both ways. Stop! There's water! <laughs> Cheaper water softener will only give you half the protection. Oh, no. And half protection is almost like... Ah. Like him riding off wearing half his helmet. Calgon gives you maximum protection by reaching all your machines important parts. Yes, it's I don't know why this was advert I don't know why they always advertise like Calgon and Silit Bang on like Nick Jr. and like children. I guess it's because parents are watching. I, I, the thing is, I probably know more about Calgon than the average adult because I've seen this advert so many times. Maybe that's their plan. Maybe they were they were indoctrinating us. Maybe they were brainwashing us young so that we know about their products as we grow up. That's actually genius. You know what I mean? That's actually quite genius. Only Calgon is recommended by leading washing machine manufacturers. Machines live longer with cow gone. Oh, and he carry any the cutest shoes. Oh, yeah, and he carry we are so cool. Oh, yeah, so these give the same vibes as you remember those shoes that you got in like Clark's and they had one had like the car in. I don't know what it was, it was the girl one. They get had like a girl one, and then a guy one with a car, and I just sit in assembly and take my car out. And go, it was elite, it made the assemblies like three times more fun. They were quite expensive like right? 40, 42 to 47 quid for like kids shoes that seems quite expensive oh my god 118 what do, what did they even do everyone knew 118 118 back in the day but i don't think any what did they actually do i'm gonna pull this up okay they are now money and they are loans and credit cards now i remember them being like you phone them up and ask them a question and they'd answer it for you. And I don't know how they were going so like considering Google was a thing. I, I, mean, they, I think they were just like a phone number that was like Google. But surely they couldn't have been like that useless because they actually charged money. 118, 118 is primarily seen as a directory inquiry service that provides a wider range of options. Not only providing numbers to users but also train time, cinema listings and directions. How much does it cost to call? Whoa. 4.49 per call plus an additional 4.49 a minute to get the pleasure of dialing the number is 4.49 so if you call for one minute it'll be like nine quid yeah i wonder why i wonder why that uh that stopped uh being profitable i wonder why people stopped calling that number what are you doing around here this is a smart neighborhood no place for the likes of you says who says me come on show us what you're made of what are i made of He's back in meat. <laughs> it wasn't really an appropriate kid's advert, was it? Like, he, he literally 
splashed them and went, and they went, oh, yeah, he's packing meat. It's not appropriate for kids, really. I am Alexander, founder of CompareTheMeerkat.com. I love compare how these meerkat. adverts are still going. Fine. I love them, the meerkat adverts. They're so cute, the, 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 the little meerkats in their insurance. Okay, chop stop, pay attention. PG do they still do these PG bags, Tips adverts? So I like the monkey. I like the monkey. He's, yes, and a digger. he's quite see nice. He seems move. quite friendly. I don't like tea, but I'd like to have a cup of tea with the, the monkey. I'm Barry Scott. Scott here I'm we... here with Jill, who uses silly bags. I'm, and I'm. So Jill, what do you think? Barry Scott well, Barry, was an icon. Barry Scott was an absolute icon. No one can ever replace him in any advert ever. He's the iconic advert man. The kids make such a mess in the bathroom, but it tackles. What so the fuck are they doing in that bath? It was like sit on it. My old favourite. You love that one, Barry. <laughs> you love that one. Barry, why did you have to say it like that? Let him be happy. Let him be, let him be proud of his coin. Give it a go. Bang. The dirt is gone. Dirt is gone. Oh. It's the Sony one where there's like balls bouncing down a hill. They actually did that. That's not CGI. They actually like threw like a load of, I think it was in the millions of balls just down a hill and filmed it and it had to be done in one take. And I find that really interesting. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you enjoy. If you want to see another video like this where I look at uh, nostalgic UK adverts, I'm sure there's loads more. Then let me know. Leave a like, comment and all that. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye.